The theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation is generally acknowledged by most researchers as the essential clarification for the starting points of the universe, enveloping the production of stars, planets, and all life in that, including us. Notwithstanding its fairly unconventional name, the term huge explosion appropriately catches the immensity of the occasion. At first, the universe was a thick assortment of particles pressed into a space more modest than a pinhead. From this minute point, an enormous blast of matter happened, known as the huge explosion. This concisely sums up the interaction that unfurled over billions of years. However, regardless of the persevering fame of the theory of how things came to be, progressions in logical information have progressively tested its forecast. When NASA sent off the James Webb Space Telescope, the biggest and most developed space observatory to date, researchers guessed that its perceptions would reinforce the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Unfortunately, after only one year in space, the telescope has dumbfounded researchers with its momentous capacities, giving extraordinary looks into the universe's past. The James Webb Telescope's disclosures have revealed systems so old that they might actually reshape how we interpret the universe's origins. This unexpected disclosure has started intense interest among researchers and fans the same. One such noteworthy disclosure came when stargazer Rohan Natu, breaking down early pictures from the James Webb Telescope, coincidentally found a system that surprised everyone. This universe, named Glass Z13, seemed mysteriously gigantic and traced all the way back to only a short time after the enormous detonation, making it older than any previously noticed world. Natu's energy was tangible as he imparted the revelation to partners on the planet, depicting it as beyond anything astronomers could ever imagine. The James Webb Telescope, positioned far from natural impedance and furnished with state-of-the-art innovation, was intended to dive into the universe's earliest age, known as grandiose sunrise. This period, covered in mystery, denotes the development of the universe's most memorable stars and worlds. By examining systems from this period, Researchers desire to refine how they interpret major cosmic cycles like the impact of matter and dark energy. Initial assumptions for the James Webb Telescope's discoveries were humble, expecting a few weak far-off universes. However, the truth surpassed all projections. The telescope's pictures uncovered systems of amazing development, challenging existing models and prompting a whirlwind of examination activity. As researchers keep on dissecting the James Webb Telescope's information, the ramifications of these revelations could be significant, introducing another time of cosmological comprehension. The surprising disclosures from this noteworthy observatory offer a tempting look into the universe's past, driving humankind's journey to disentangle the secrets of presence. As early systems materialized, scholars and spectators ended up in a scramble to make sense of them. Might this gathering of oddly enormous and splendid early worlds at any point be fanciful, perhaps due to blemishes in the examination of the telescope's underlying perceptions. Or if authentic, might they at any point somehow be accommodated with standard cosmological models? Or quite possibly, were they the main means that the universe is stranger and more complex than our boldest speculations had assumed? In question isn't anything not exactly how we might interpret how the precise universe we know arose out of early stage confusion. The early disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope can possibly revise the initial parts of grandiose history. These sections concern far-off ages and distant systems, as well as our own presence here. In the natural smooth manner is Mark McCarran, a senior counsel for science and investigation at the European Space Office engaged with JWST, commented, you fabricate these machines not to affirm the worldview yet to break it. You simply don't have the foggiest idea how it will break. It could be said that JWST perceptions of early universes have been billions of years truly taking shape. Nonetheless, more unobtrusively, they trace back to the Space Telescope Science Establishment in 1985. Around then, the Hubble Space Telescope was as yet five years from send-off. Nonetheless, the establishment's then-chief, Ricardo Jane, requested that his group begin contemplating what might come after Hubble, a lot further away. Regardless of initial fights about zeroing in on Hubble, John A. was tenacious, predicting the extensive improvement process. Guy Linger, then at that point delegate overseer of SD Sky, alongside a little group, began drafting thoughts for what in the end turned into the cutting-edge space telescope, later renamed JWST. 
They perceived that while Hubble would be groundbreaking, its capacities would be restricted by its perceptions in noticeable light. The NGST, then again, would see in the infrared range, permitting it to enter further into the universe. The need for JWST turned out to be much more obvious in December 1995 when cosmologists directed the Hubble Deep Field Perception. In spite of assumptions for finding a couple of faint cosmic systems, the subsequent picture uncovered a huge number of worlds extending back more than 12 billion years into the universe's set of experiences. After over 20 years of improvement and at an expense of around $1 billion, JWST at long last sent off on Christmas Day 2021. The telescope went through thorough testing prior to arriving at its profound space objective a month after the fact. By July 2022, it was prepared to begin its hotly anticipated first year of science perceptions, known as Cycle 1. Some portion of JWST's initial mission was given to high-impact programs, including the Astronomical Advancement Early Delivery Science Review and the GRIS Focal Point Amplified Overview from Space. Both pointed toward revealing insight into the secrets of the early universe. As stargazers openly gave endless hours to filtering separate patches of the sky, looking for early universe cosmic systems, they at first expected unassuming discoveries, similar to a more many-decided variant of the Hubble profound field. In any case, they were in for a shock. Stephen Finkel from the College of Texas at Austin, driving the SE project, makes sense of that very far-off systems were supposed to emerge solely after numerous information cycles from different projects. However, to cosmologists' wonder, these universes showed up much sooner than expected. The record for the most far-off known system had a place with GNZ-11, seen in 2015, with a redshift of 11. Redshift estimates the extending of light because of the universe's development, with a higher worth demonstrating greater distance. Yet, from the very beginning of glass perceptions, two separate groups, including one drove by Rohan Natu, freely recognized glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, driving the enormous timetable back significantly further. In their scramble for quick results, specialists depended on worked on methods for redshift assessment, in light of splendor estimations, as opposed to additional time serious direct estimations. In any case, their effortlessness, these evaluations uncovered worlds suddenly brilliant and enormous, some previously flaunting a heavenly mass equaling a billion suns, much the same as our own smooth way, which is billions of years more experienced. The energy didn't stop there. In the resulting days, various universe competitors from soothsayers and glass arose, some with redshift gauges as high as 20, demonstrating they existed only a short time after the enormous detonation. These worlds showed circle-like designs not expected in such early astronomical ages. Furthermore, another group found proof of smooth way systems at a redshift of 10, under 500 million years after the enormous detonation. Such fast rise of sizable universes challenges the expectations of the standard cosmological model, lambda cold dull matter. To grasp this oddity, a brief return to early universe elements is fundamental. In the underlying minutes after the enormous detonation, the universe was a hot, thick soup of early stage particles. Over the long haul, as the universe extended and cooled, helium and other light components framed, prompting the presence of the principal iotas. Close to 400,000 years after the fact, approximately 100 million years after the enormous detonation, conditions became helpful for the development of the principal stars, made essentially out of hydrogen and helium. These early stars, bigger and more splendid than current stars, amassed into protoworlds directed by the gravitational draw of dim matter. However, JWST's revelation challenges this model as it uncovers splendid, sizable cosmic systems far sooner than anticipated. Stacy McCor from Case Western Reserve University noticed the startling shortfall of various more modest protogalactic parts, proposing that some noticed systems might be nearer than assumed, hidden by dust, seeming dimmer and more far off. The disclosure of the early worlds raises significant issues about the universe's early stages, highlighting the need for proceeded with investigation and revision of our cosmological models. Follow-up perceptions of glass Z13 in August 2022 by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array in Chile cast uncertainty on the underlying discoveries. In any case, the utilization of brilliance-based estimations, ALMA didn't recognize critical measures of residue related with glass Z13. SP. 
Tom B. from Goya College, who drove the perceptions, recommended, this suggests that low redshift interlopers can be excluded. However, Alma attempted to recognize the universe by any means. This highlights the test of affirming perceptions made utilizing JWST's high evil capacities. Rohan Natu, one of the specialists in question, brought up the incongruity of the circumstance, expressing, the uplifting news is, there's nothing identified, he said. The awful news is, there's nothing identified with just JW fit for circling back to its own perceptions. The most frightening clarification could be that the sanctioned LCDM cosmological model requires an update. Michael Bohan Cullen, a cosmologist, communicated the size of this potential change in perspective, expressing, these outcomes are extremely astonishing, and difficult to fit in our standard model of cosmology. It would be a real revolution to understand the quandary. One questionable proposition is modified Newtonian dynamics, which challenges the existence of dark matter. JWST's perceptions could lend backing to MOND, proposed by Mark McCarran. However, not all cosmologists are convinced of MOND's validity. Another possible explanation is that early universe galaxies may have very little dust, causing them to appear brighter and affecting mass calculations. This scenario could also explain Alma's difficulty in detecting glass Z13. Charlotte Brickley and her associates suggested that JWST could be observing the brightest young galaxies in the early universe, which could imply simpler star formation conditions during that era. David Spurgle supports this idea, proposing that high-mass star formation could have been more efficient due to higher gas pressures and temperatures, possibly influenced by early gravitational fields. The rapid dissemination of scientific papers from JWST's initial observations reflects a shift towards real-time peer review via platforms like archive and virtual conferences. While this accelerates the dissemination of findings, there are concerns about rushing conclusions before thorough peer review. Despite alignment issues and potential recalibrations affecting some results, it's unlikely that all high-redshift galaxies observed by JWST will be nullified. The sheer number of these galaxies suggests that the early universe may be different from what was previously expected. Finkelstein expressed confidence in the validity of the discoveries, stating that the chances of cosmologists being entirely wrong are small. Now, astronomers are rushing to conduct follow-up observations with JWST. Nancy Levinson is currently evaluating around 12 proposals from various groups seeking additional JWST observing time to examine high redshift galaxy candidates. Given the excitement and significance of these early discoveries, confirming them is crucial. Try who presented one of the proposals emphasized the importance of validating these discoveries. Other projects like Cosmos Web, led by Cartel T, aim to expand the known population of early galaxies by observing a wider area of the sky for many hours. TAP estimates that they may identify thousands of galaxies. In addition to the fleeting deaths of supersized first stars and radiant supernovae as markers for their existence. Several estimates suggest that JWST could observe galaxies as far as a redshift of 26, only 120 million years after the Big Bang. Confirming even a handful of these high redshift candidates would be a remarkable achievement, according to Natu, showing that cosmologists are not being deluded by their observations. JWST has ushered in a new era of science, and despite the uncertainties, the rapid communication of new discoveries has energized and engaged the academic community. Now, the question arises, is it time to reconsider how we interpret the origins of the universe? Artisan Pond, The Significant Implications of Exploring the Unexplored World, concludes the information for now. Remember to show your support by liking, subscribing, and stirring things up around town for future episodes. Also, be sure to share your thoughts on the current content. Your support inspires us to keep delivering quality content and to continually strive for improvement. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.